Cross Ice Hockey is splitting the ice up into skill stations and uh, cross ice games. We are focusing on the 85 foot width of the ice rather than the 200 foot length of the ice, which allows the kids more puck touches, more puck battles, more shots on goal, which in, in turn will benefit the child in the long run. For this age category, I think the half ice is perfect. They're able to get to the puck in time. There's not a lot of break between one kid passing to another, and um, the kids did really well. They, uh, they did really good. I really like the half ice opposed to the full ice for this age group. It gives them a lot more time with the puck and it seems like the game's a little bit faster paced to keep their attention span. They switched it up a lot between the skill stations and the scrimmages, so my daughter had a lot of fun today. I liked playing the games and scoring goals and I met very nice people and I had a chance for hockey. It was good. The reason that we have done this model is if you think about an initiation kid or an IP kid, five years old, four years old, doing a drill, the 200 foot length of the ice, how much energy is that kid gonna have in comparison to doing that drill 85 feet or in a smaller skill area? The child's gonna have more energy in a smaller skill station uh, than they would in the 200 foot length of the ice. I think the pace was a little bit different. They switched it up a lot for this age group, so they had a lot of time to kind of focus on skills and play the game. They get a lot more playing time with the half ice rather than doing the long skates and getting tired out. And again, they're practicing their skills in the other little session, which gives them a good handle on stick handling and skating and things like that. So they're learning a lot here today. Right now we are currently targeting all initiation hockey players. Each child participating, they get to meet new people from other communities that they might not ever meet just playing in their own association. It's a good setup. The people who planned it obviously know what they're doing and everyone's having a great time, making a lot of new friends and just having a good time skating and learning all about hockey. I find with this program that he picked up the skating quite quickly and his hockey skills have improved and I think overall he just has a really great time playing hockey with his teammates. We have used the model of having a couple of our SHA coaches run the cross ice game, one in each skill station and then we're actually doing like a mentorship program with our SHA certified instructors to work with the local coaches from the local associations. If anybody has any questions about cross ice or the format of it or anything, they can just contact the Saskatchewan Hockey Association.